how to change directory in a Jenkins pipeline. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.375.2. There's also a sample repository for this video. Let's go ahead and take a look at that repository. What I have is a Jenkins file and a folder. Well, what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to reference that folder without having to fully qualify the paths in my Jenkins file. So in the first part of this pipeline, you can see that I'm catting out fully qualified down to the file that is within that directory. And in the second part, I'm using the dir pipeline step. And what we can see from the documentation for dir is it changes the current directory and more specifically, the current working directory. And what we do is we pass in the path to that directory. So taking a look again at our example, we have dir my project. And again, my project is the directory here, my dash project. And then we're just referencing the file within that directory. So unlike what we see here at line six, where we're referencing the fully qualified path, now we're actually just referencing just the file because we're already inside of the directory. Let's see how this works. So let's go back to our controller and let's run the job that's already been set up. So we'll click on build now. And as we take a look at the output, we can see on the very first step where we're catting out with the fully qualified path, my project file.txt, and we see hello world. But then as we move into the next stage, we can see use dir. We're using the dir step and it's saying running inside of test dir my project. This my project is the folder, my project that was specified in the dir step. And then finally, we just say cat file text, and we see the same output as we saw when we fully qualified in the previous stage. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on the subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.